I think we're just about ready to get going here. A warm welcome to you wherever you are in the world. I'm Peter Drury, and joining me here, our expert, Jim Beglin. Hello, Peter. Um... It's John Champion and Jim Beglin on commentary duty, and a warm welcome to you all. What for you characterises a proper derby? But you know, often the first feeling was a little bit of fear because you know if you lose on derby day, you can't show your face out in the town that evening. If you win it, it's a completely different feeling. It's right up there, very, very special. So derby days are ones ringed in red on the calendar of every player, right? You can experience the highs and the very lows. say the odds on him missing from there were very slim yeah it looks simple Peter but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Driving on now, what can they conjure from here? Here's Van Persie. 
He's going it alone. It is good to see a forward tracking back and defending like that from time to time. You have to admire a commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Puts it away. A moment of significance for Manchester United. It just couldn't have been placed any better. Yeah, this has been a hard-fought game, Peter. There's been a healthy dose of drive and ambition, and sometimes that isn't rewarded with goals just like this one. I've seen a lot worse, though. So we brace ourselves for the nerve-shredding ordeal that is penalties. Real tension here, then, as the first man readies himself. So he walks up to the spot and puts the ball down. Coutinho first in line. Oh, remarkable start. And the keeper knew he was beaten, so what a bonus. Rooney next in line, and here he is. That's how it's done. He made the keeper commit. Good penalty. Completely wrong-footed, the keeper. Liverpool looking to draw level. Right in the corner. Well, he strolled up and struck that with great confidence. That's a superb spot kick. So, the second man in line. And he puts it away. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper, and he guessed wrong. Liverpool in search of parity. Oh, that was a great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. The third man in the queue. Good penalty. Just steered it the other way. Good penalty. Completely wrong-footed the keeper. Liverpool trailing by one. A oh, super penalty. Pick that one out. Well, he strolled up and struck that with great confidence. That's a superb spot kick. Matter comes up, their fourth taker. Ah, oh, it's a tame penalty, straight at the keeper. Well, he's put that straight at the keeper, it's simply not good enough. Lalana is the last of five scheduled takers. Back off the post! Oh, I feel for him. It looked like placement precision. Simon Mignolet must keep this out. This is match point. That's it. It is done. So after a grueling game that went all the way, the winner is decided on penalties. It is a horrible way to lose. And they are heartbroken. So there it is. What struck you most about that? Who has an assist to his name. Three shrill peeps of the whistle. And this match is going to penalties. Well, it's all about nerve and bottle now for these penalty takers. They've just got to pick their spot and not change their mind. A penalty shootout then is going to be the mode of sorting out the winners of this game. After 120 minutes of football, they are still all square.
He places it on the spot, steps back, pauses, looks fairly relaxed, but his heart must be beating like crazy. Up steps the all-important first taker. He should be able to handle the pressure, but can he? Under great pressure, he bangs it past the keeper. He made it, it's 1-1. That's a good start and a great, great penalty to make it one each. He blasts it high. He's just gone for power instead of accuracy and it's not worked for him. Gets nowhere near it. Oh, the keeper's been completely wrong-footed there. Superb strike. Oh, no, he's missed it. Oh, agonisingly close, but he's been denied by the woodwork. Putting this penalty away for a two-goal lead would give them a real psychological boost. To the keeper's right. Oh, that was a great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. Calmly, precisely, he puts the ball down. Everyone in the stadium holding their breath. Now this is real pressure. Keeper needs to keep this one out for the win, so there's pressure on taker and goalkeeper alike. The fans on their feet as down comes the curtain on a true drama. A horrible way to lose, and one that's more down to luck than anything else. The keeper will be disappointed he wasn't able to save his team from defeat. Well, remembering what the feeling was like, I can only sympathise with, with the losers of any derby. It's a, it's a horrible experience, and I doubt you'll see these players out in the town tonight. I think there'll be more of a, a night in, uh, licking a few wounds. My sincere thanks go to Jim Beglin for joining us, and that brings us to the end of this afternoon's match. And we know that derbies can often make predictions look silly. They can take on a, a personality of their own, and this one didn't really deserve to have a loser. Well, that's it for today. Thank you, Jim, and goodbye.